Hi everyone, this is Sri Manju Katrageta from Experience Healing. This week we are going to chat uh, with Suzanne Brown. I'm going to tell about her uh, new book, uh, which is uh, Angel EFT, Tap into the Angelic Crowns with Modern Energy EFT. And um, before that, uh, uh, let me first uh, tell about Susanna. She is a wonderful friend of mine. We connected through the Diana Cooper Foundation and uh, it's a similar uh, interest we both have about the angels and the EFT as well. And uh, she is um, she gives like personal development uh, workshops, trainings, which are online and also face to face. And also she started traveling to UK to do her workshops. Yeah, um, she does. Um, lovely writer's workshop as well which is great like to help you connect with the angels and also express about yourself so here welcoming suzanne brown and uh, knowing a little bit more about her journey herself and about her book and also though we'll have a topic today which is um bringing the angels and also helping us guiding us to raise our prosperity levels which is we need right as the summer is approaching and for our holidays to be planning so welcome suzanne thank you very much Rimanju. <laughs> So here is your book. I love your book. Like, yeah, it's Thank you. <laughs> and I have to tell you the best thing that I uh, loved about your book is how easy and simple it is um, to connect with the angels first thing because they are there to help us. And also the tapping. It's so easy and you can do off yourself or with a friend over a chat or with your children as well. That is the best thing. Mm. So tell me, Suzanne, like about your own journey. How did you get in connection with the angels? Um, well, the angels, I was very lucky to have a very spiritually minded mom who taught me about the angels when I was little. Um, mm. So she taught me about Archangel Michael and cloaks of light and all this kind of thing. And um, then for years, I kind of forgot about the angels. Um, mm. I did my Reiki training level one and two um, in 1998. And even at that time, you know, I wasn't really thinking about the angels too much. Um, it was some years later when, um, when I started getting into the angels. Around 2005, 2006, I received some gifts. I received a book about angels and some angel cards. But still, I wasn't really um, resonating with them at that time. It was around 2007 that I started to have a kind of spiritual awakening, is the way I would describe it, where I became increasingly sensitive and I felt like I was downloading information. Wow. Um, I would know certain things and I wouldn't know why I knew them or how I knew them. And I think, oh my goodness, that's actually true. How did I even know that? And um, I suddenly felt drawn to these angel cards that I was given and, um, and to read about the angels. And I had a hunger for knowledge and I kept reading and reading and go, I found angel workshops to go to. Doreen Virtue came to um, Dublin the same year and I went to see her and I came across the Diana Cooper School. And then in 2009, I trained to be a Diana Cooper um, teacher, angel teacher, angels in ascension. And that, of course, really accelerated my journey. And um, I learned more about the angels and got to teach my first angel workshop in 2009, which was really fun. Actually, it's a coincidence. It was the Angels of Abundance. That, that was the workshop I taught, my first angel workshop. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. And still. <laughs> yeah. And how did um, Energy EFT come into? Uh, for the viewers who don't know about the EFT, it's called Emotional Freedom Technique. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, EFT is a really exciting technique that, um, again, I came into at, at around maybe 2009, actually, because it was just before my last child was born. I went to a homeopath looking for um, anything to help me go into labor naturally. Mm -hmm. And um, she gave me some homeopathy, but she also showed me the tapping. It released a load of trauma that I didn't even know I was carrying around labor and this kind of thing. And um, I thought, my goodness, that is amazing. And, uh, you know, just from tapping for a few minutes, um, I had such a release. And um, again, it was a couple of years later when I really got into the EFT. I went to see Brad Yates in Cork. He's an American guy that does a lot of EFT videos. And um, he came to Cork. And I remember watching his talk or being there at his talk and coming away thinking, oh, my goodness, this is my life's work. This is amazing. And because I was already into the angels, I discovered that the two married together really well. And when you ask the angels to come in, when you're doing your tapping, it was even more powerful. Um, mm -hmm. So it seemed like almost a no brainer to put the two together for me. Yeah. 
it so came naturally, I guess, isn't it? Actually, until I read or heard about uh, your book, like I never thought I could merge them. Like I merged Reiki with everything else, like, you know, Reiki and EFT. But this is amazing, I thought, because I worked so closely with angels and then EFT and uh, like 24 times with the kids. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, tell me like uh, about the money as we are on the prosperity topic. So money is a negative energy. How would you work with that? Like, you know, with the money, people say, oh, money is not good. Like it's a bad energy and all. But actually, there is so much of goodness. I, I used to have this uh, problem, like accepting for the treatments or the workshops. But then I realized, like, I wanted to do so much of charity work without having it. How would I even be able to give back, you know? Yeah. Can you explore a little bit for us? That's a really interesting point that you've raised because so many people, so many spiritually minded people have massive hangups about money. And that comes, some of that's um, coming from religion and things like mm. um, statements in the Bible and this kind of thing that have misled people into thinking that money is bad or evil or money is the root of all evil. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's the desire or craving for money that is, is not so good. You know, not money itself. Money is just an energy money it's just an energy of exchange so um, again another common one is people who are healers and like to give to the world light workers sometimes find it hard to charge for what they do they don't want to accept money they don't want to charge the fair prices mm. this kind of thing and they have all sorts of energy blocks and what we're doing in energy EFT is removing the blocks so I didn't explain earlier you were asking about the EFT and I, I went off on a the EFT stands for emotional freedom techniques and it just involves gently tapping on energy meridian points yourself just on the body now some EFTers um, tap on their clients but I, I teach to tap on yourself mm -hmm. and um, it's something that you can literally learn in minutes and um, it originates from the eastern philosophy that we have energy meridians going around the body and lots of them and what we're doing is tapping on the end points and um, this was discovered in, in America by a therapist who was working with a very phobic lady who had a, a, a water phobia and he tried every kind of psychotherapy and all sorts with her for two years. And he himself was studying the energy meridians and he thought he'd get her to tap and she actually overcame her phobia just within minutes. And um, wow. so that started off a whole chain of events um, which brought us what we have today, which is EFT and modern energy EFT. Yeah. And um, also, uh, just on that part, like, you know, did you yourself uh, have any issues charging for your clients, you know? Absolutely. And did you, no. like, how did you explore? Do you want to run through with us, like, tap along, maybe? Tap along, of course. Yeah, oh, I did definitely. In the beginning, you know, um, I was mortified charging people. And <laughs> especially, like, sometimes it's your friends or people that know you that come, and that was even worse for me, you know, to have to to ask them for anything, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And this causes a block because if you, if you decide in the beginning, you know, that you're practicing on friends, say if you're doing Reiki or healing, you know, even just to exchange something with them, if you feel like you can't exchange money, you know, um, let them do something for you or, or, or give you flowers or anything. Um, because, exchange, yeah. you know, blocking, blocking your abundance is, is really not, not a good thing. <laughs> so, um, with angel EFT and, and increasing our flow of prosperity, we really have to become a little bit like detectives and start to learn what it is that's blocking us. And it can be beliefs that we have from childhood, mm. such as if we were parented in such a way, if our parents were struggling for money and they would frequently say things like, we can't afford that, um, that's too expensive, that's too dear, um, Mm -hmm. This goes in at a really strong level, you know, mm -hmm. for children, and we do carry it into adulthood and we, you know, money doesn't grow on trees, all this kind of poverty consciousness talk, I suppose, is what some people refer to it as. And our parents are doing the best they could, you know, with the yeah. skills they had. Um, but we sometimes have to work on releasing those blockages that we've got. And it can be at a societal level as well. Um, cultural and all sorts of things, all sorts of influences. So when I say being a bit like a detective, I advise people to get a little abundance notebook or a prosperity notebook and start writing down any epiphanies they have or any insights or awareness. So we suddenly realize, oh my goodness, I can't re receive very easily or oh my goodness, it's hard for me to increase my prices even though I'm charging too little. Write that down and then you have something to, to aim it at. 
um, and you can tap on literally anything you want. But if we want to do something general, just to show people today, mm. we can bring in the angels of abundance or the angels of prosperity, because if they don't mind what you call them, um, <laughs> we can call them either. So, um, so yeah, if you, will we do that now, Sri Manju? Would sure. you like to do a little bit of angel of tea? Yeah. Totally. As you're talking, the best thing that I remember is growing up, oh, money doesn't come on the trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> money doesn't grow on trees. Yeah, scarcity. Yeah, we're talking. You have to work yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah, you have to work hard to get money. Yeah, yeah. All these statements, you know. Yeah. Um, they're they're very interesting, but they they explain a lot of our money blocks. Um, True. So um, let's start. Yeah, let's start. So so first, we'll just do a little visualization. So I welcome you to close your eyes if you want to, and just take some deeper breaths and just be aware of the way the body wants to breathe. And be aware of your feet. And I'd like you to imagine that you're sending down golden roots from the soles of your feet into the earth below you. And just let these golden roots flow down deeper and deeper into the earth. Flowing down deeper and deeper until they wrap around a great crystal at the heart of the earth. Lady Gaia's crystal. And they dip into the crystal and from the crystal they receive healing light which travels back up the roots so there's a lovely connection going on now between you and mother earth you're sending love to her and she's sending healing back to you so back up into these roots comes healing energy that comes into the physical body through the feet and just welcome that into every cell in the body Feel yourself relaxing, feeling more lighter and brighter. And then I want you to imagine a stream of rainbow light coming down from source from above. So you might like to imagine that you're standing under a waterfall of this light. It's coming down with blessings from the angels and from the heavens. And this rainbow light is very powerful and it's flowing down over the energy bodies and the aura and into all the chakras, the major, the minor chakras and down the energy meridians, just cleansing and clearing your energy and allowing you to feel lighter and brighter. And then we might call in Archangel Michael who places his shield of protection in front of you and behind you and around you and above you and below you, just protecting your energy, just bouncing off any toxic energy or lower frequency stuff. And you can ask him to surround the room that you're in, if you like, with a bubble of blue light and an even larger one around the building. And then we're going to invoke the angels of abundance. And the angels of abundance love helping us to feel more abundant because it's better. It's a win-win when we feel more abundant. We're more able to give to others. We're more open. We're more spiritually connected. So ask the angels of abundance now to help you to scan for any unwanted beliefs that have been holding you back in your abundance. And just see what you notice. And ask the angels to help you to remember these later on in case you wanted to write them down. <clears throat> and now place your hands on the heart center, the center of the chest, and take three deep breaths. And you can open your eyes now at this point. You might see behind me, you can't see all of this, but I have the Sioux scale behind me and it, it goes from minus 10 all the way to plus 10. And um, it relates directly to our vibrational frequency. So think of yourself and money or prosperity just now and, and just make a note of where you are on that scale. So if you're in the minuses, 
you're not feeling too good about it, you've got some resistance or worry about it. And if you're in the pluses, you're feeling okay. Mm -hmm. Up to plus 10, you're feeling amazing, as good as you can feel around your prosperity. So just check in and see what your number is. And then we do some tapping. So tapping on the top of the head, just really gently take a breath. Thank you, angels of abundance. Thank you, angels of abundance. And the third eye point, take a breath. For helping me to expand my abundance consciousness now. For helping me to expand my conscious abundance now. On the eyebrow, take a breath. I choose to trust and flow. I choose to trust and flow. Side of the eye. Thank you for helping me to recognize any unwanted beliefs. Thank you for recognizing any unwanted beliefs. Side of the eye. That have been limiting my abundance consciousness. That have been limiting my abundance consciousness. Side of the eye. <clears throat> Thank you, angels of abundance. Thank you, angels of abundance. And the chin. For supporting me now. For supporting me now. And the collarbones. I love to feel positive about money. I love to feel positive about money. And the thumb. I love letting go of any fears or hang ups. I love letting go of any fears and hang ups. The index finger. So that I can, can feel prosperous. I can feel prosperous. Finger. Free to give and receive. Feel free to give and receive. Free to step into my power. Feel free to step into my power. As a divine being of light. As a divine being of light. Thank you, angels of abundance. Thank you, angels of abundance. For assisting me in expanding my prosperity consciousness. Trying expanding and raising my prosperity. Abundance. It's safe for me to let go of limiting beliefs. Safe for me to let go of limiting beliefs. And I lovingly support myself with this now. Lovingly accepting this now. Yeah. I choose to feel more relaxed about money. I choose to relax more about the money. I trust that my needs are always met. I trust that all my needs will always be met. Thank you, angels, for your guidance and support. Thank you, angels, for your guidance and support. I love feeling abundant. I love feeling abundant. It's a win-win when I feel abundant. It's a win-win when I feel abundant. When I feel abundant, I'm more expansive in my energy. When I feel abundant, I feel more expansive in my energy. And I'm able to give more. I'm able to give more. It's great, this feeling of abundance. It's great, this feeling of abundance. Thank you, angels, for supporting me now. Thank you, angels, for supporting me now. Releasing any energy blocks I have around this. Releasing any energy blocks that I have around this. I love feeling abundant now. I love being abundant right now. And the heart center takes three deep breaths. And just take a moment with your eyes closed just to check in and tune in and see what's going on. Any thoughts, feelings? 
any awarenesses. Hmm. Feel so relaxed and calm. Relaxed and calm, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. I have this vision of like abundance is coming in, the prospect is coming in, like a waves that I'm able to accept it. You know, it's a beautiful, yeah. it's more relaxed. Like, yes, I'm happy with what I have, but yes, the more is good as also I can do more about it, you know. Yes, yeah. I can see a change in the Sue scale as well. I started off plus four there. Now I see like a plus eight, which is great. Like two ta two rounds of tapping and such a big change, like you know. Yeah. That's amazing. Well done. Yeah. Thank you, Suzanne, for leading us this through, like, you know. Um, so uh, with the whole thing, like, if we do, if we repeat this, like, you know, it's so quick. It only took, like, a couple of minutes, isn't it, uh, for us to have the shift, like, That's and people cool. do this themselves, like. They can. And in my book, I have a chapter on this. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah. So chapter 13 has rounds that people can follow. So, um, and it explains a little bit about abundance and prosperity and how to approach this with the Angel EFT. team. Mm. So, um, you know, cause some people um, are confident in creating their own rounds and other people just like a little bit of guidance um, in how to approach certain things. So, so the chapter itself provides various different rounds according to what's going on for the person, like re re revealing blocks to abundance with Archangel Raziel, mm. um, seeking out the blocks and working through them, and then being clear about what you want, which is another thing. When people use the word abundance, abundance just means lots of, so lots of what? Um, <laughs> you know, I, I use the word abundance and prosperity because prosperity is a, a clearer word I find sometimes if people are wanting finances to go better, you know, yeah. prosperity might be more clear. But abundance might just mean more spare time or it might mean more clothes or it might mean more, more holidays. sunshine. <laughs> yeah, more sunshine, exactly. Yeah. And abundance of sunshine, yeah. So, so I advise people to get clear, that, you know, and that's one of the things that a lot of spiritual people can struggle with in the beginning. You know, they, they use the word abundance and they're a bit embarrassed about it because they're like, oh my God, does that mean I'm greedy if I'm asking for more abundance? Um, yeah. so, so they're very reluctant to say what it is they want more of. So getting clear is another one as well. And I do cover that in, in the book um, yeah. about how to be clear. Yeah. And being clear for ourselves, we know where our goals or where our path is leading into. And some things uh, that sometimes we get muggled up as well. We are not clear. We say a million things. But actually, what is the core thing? It's only one thing at the end, isn't it? That happiness. Maybe at that time, we need that prosperity to get it over. Like I'm going to, for holidays, I need that enough even to go and spend. Actually saying that, you know, people uh, who want to do some treatments or workshops, you know, they say, oh, I don't have money. I wish I have money. But then I say, like, just asking the angels or uh, create, uh, be affirmative about it. And they then after a week, they say, like, I found the deposit. Here you go. Yes. Like, you know, it's just like when you're in the right path and you tune in, this is meant to be for you. It happens, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Miracles. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Just saying that there is also a page of which is 33, where uh, if anyone is interested, they can see on those, uh, the Sue scale points and also the tapping of the point as well that uh, which Santa uh, Suzanne has gone through. Uh, right. They never tried connecting with the angels or aren't really even sure about the angels. I have a chapter explaining all that, you know, for people who are new as well. Yeah. And you have different aspects of it. It's just not only the prosperity or abundance, but also like the happiness, raising your vibrations, uh, shifting your moods as well, because this is the key for a soul's growth, like, you know, for our as a normal day to day life, dealing with the children, dealing with the partners, the family or the work issues, everything. There is a solution. It just we need to find that solution, which is the most important thing right now, isn't it? This is it. Yeah. I talk about raising your vibrational frequency. And also energy hygiene. I was running a workshop at the weekend and this came up. Um, the way that sensitive people and healers tend to take on other people's stuff. Mm. And, um, <laughs> this is a lesson in itself. And it was really, when I was learning about the angels, I was very grateful to learn of how to deal with that thing because I was like a sponge taking on other people's stuff. I could literally feel other people's emotions. And I worked as a psychiatric nurse for years 
Um, so in acute mental health, there is serious stuff that you can take on if you, you know, feeling those really strong emotions of people who are very depressed or very unwell. You know, I found it agonizing at times. So when I learned about the angels and the different ways you can mind your energy, energy hygiene is what I call the chapter in the book. Um, you know, how to deal with um, harsh energies, how to let that soften and flow out of you if you feel if you, you have absorbed something, how to bring in Archangel Michael to protect your energy or the other angels and all the sorts of things you can do, those techniques. And you mentioned as well about um, mood. I have a chapter on low mood, dealing with low mood, because that would be a passion of mine, having worked in mental health for so long. And also because I had low mood myself. Yeah. I've learned ways of dealing with it and healing it. Um, so, so that's one of my passions as well. And relationships, there is a chapter about, you mentioned relationships as well, and with the kids and that, there's a chapter about that as well, and how to improve our relationships. Um, with angel EFT oh yeah because they don't come with a, a wikipedia or anything isn't it we need to with the with the child. Child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah and each child is different by the way isn't it if we oh, have more than one. <laughs> oh, that's so different yeah 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 and we learn by that yeah parental guidance here is it for us yeah and also uh so uh, is there anything else would you like to share susan that we didn't cover that might be oh. helpful for the guys yeah I'm trying to think now. Um, I suppose other things maybe that, that are in the book that I could mention is um, mm. I have a chapter called Healthy Joyous Body because um, <laughs> I myself, you know, have done some work on that, you know, and not, not appreciating my body or overeating or this kind of thing. And um, again, many light workers can struggle with that. And um, so there are ways to engage the angels to help you in terms of purifying your diet wanting to do more exercise and that kind of thing yeah um, yeah and what else could I tell you about there are uh, also included releasing unhealthy patterns and addictions and healing ancestral patterns because that's a massive thing for some people like not just our biological genetic connections but the energy that flows down the ancestral lineage you know mm. even with things like abundance you know if there's kind of um, a history in the family of of poverty or problems of some kind or another with money then that can travel down energetically as well and it's it's nice to be able to cut the cords of that um, without cutting any love off or loyalty to the family but just releasing those ancestral ties that have been holding us back yeah or even uh, the uh, not only the ancestral but also in this like i get a lot of clients who say that oh i'm attracting the same kind of partner that i have left in you know it's the same package we get in no matter how much it's just changing that shift as well help you like a brand new uh, yeah. image to your own life isn't it yeah what you attract yeah, mm. yeah we can keep um, falling into the same pattern like you said somebody um, splits up with a partner who's maybe abusive or difficult or in other way undesirable and they find they're out of the frying pan into the fire because it's almost like their aura has a, a symbol in it attracting that at that time and you can ask the angels to light up those symbols and release the ones that are not serving you anymore yeah yeah that is great yeah and um suzanne there uh, just speaking to you something has clicked in my mind uh, uh, which is like uh, recently i'm attracting uh, in my own uh, work a lot of teenagers Mm. A lot of teenagers who are giving their cert exams uh, shortly in a couple of weeks time, you know, is there a message that you can give to them through the angels or the EFT that they can try themselves, you know, because to get to a clinic, maybe not an ideal time with their preparation work, but something they can do to relax themselves and do a better work. Like it's not about the marks, but it's about the self care and looking after is more vital for them. Like the stress they go through right now. It's not. It's not needed. Yeah, teaching teenagers about the Sioux scale um, mm. in itself is extremely helpful mm. because, you know, they've got so much going on. They've got all these pressures from school and, you know, I have teenagers myself and I hear a lot, why are we learning these subjects that have no relevance to, to what goes on in real life? And sometimes I feel reluctant to argue with that, you know. <laughs> you know about that. <laughs> Just keep quiet, you know. But, um, but definitely having an awareness of the Sioux scale. So say, well, um, have a look at the scale. Where do you feel you are just now? And just asking them, what do you think you could do to help yourself move up about three places? What would you need? So you're kind of getting them to think about how they can support themselves in moving up. Mm. Um, and also for teenagers who would be open to EFT, because some of them are and some of them aren't, um, and some of them would be open to angels and some of them wouldn't. 
Um, but for ones that are open to EFT at least, I have a video on my YouTube, which I can send you a link to if you like, which is for study for um, people who are coming up to exams and it helps them to visualize, you know, what they want to achieve and to relax and calm down, you know, and deal with some of that stress. But definitely teaching teenagers to tap and teaching teenagers who are open to talking to the angels is a fantastic one. Yeah. Um, Archangel Metatron um, helps with teenagers as well, um, mm. especially teenagers that find it difficult to concentrate and, and this kind of thing. Yeah. With the exams, that's the main thing we need the concentration, isn't it? Yeah, and Jof Jofiel with the knowledge, you know, in the, in the crown chakra and helping them to retain knowledge and this kind of thing. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'll take that link later on and post it up as well along with this video. And also, I just wanted to mention to the um, viewers that that you also run a group which is called uh, I Welcome Prosperity Energy, which is a fantastic. You do some challenges that are simple, short, like, you know, uh, for 21 days you did and then five days, you know, which are great, like for us to raise that vibrations mm -hmm. and bring in all that. And so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is what again i'll be posting up so that if anyone is interested they can join and raise the vibrations for their holidays that is coming up inside <laughs> yeah and uh, susan would you like to share your uh, website address that people can reach out to buy the book maybe oh sure so my website is angeleft.com hmm. so that's the word angel and eft.com and um, at the top of the website you should see a little notification bar that says about the book but you can buy the book on amazon.co.uk. Yeah. So if you did a search for Angel EFT on amazon.co.uk, that will come up that way as well. Mm. That's great, yeah. And thank you so much for running through that uh, tapping for myself event, which is great. Like I'm still at My eight. <laughs> and uh, thank you for your time, Suzanne. Lovely speaking to you, yeah. You too. Thank you, Samanju. Thank you. Bye.